Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick2. Today I am on my incredibly stylish Technomancer to show you guys a bug that should really help you out if you're having some issues. Obviously this is going to be a bug, so if you don't wanna be somebody that uses a bug, uh, you know, feel free to ignore the video, I guess. But I figured I would make this video because a lot of people have been asking me about it whenever I reference it. And also this will probably help a lot of people if you're having troubles performing enough damage while keeping a lot of your ammo. This will pretty much mean you have no ammo problems anymore and you can free up all those mod slots and go for extra damage. Um, I don't know if this will get patched at any point. I reported this bug three weeks ago, pretty much right when the game came out and I got ignored in an official bug report channel. So. I don't know if this is ever going to get fixed or not, uh, but yeah, I would just take advantage of it while you can. It's pretty cool, helps you out a lot, and helps you do a lot more damage. Before I get into it, for a limited time, if you guys are interested in trying out some Advanced GG, which is an amazing gaming supplement to help you stay energized and focused, you can use code nick 2 free samples on a sample pack on their website, and it'll give you free shipping. So you can get a sample pack and try it out, and if you really enjoy it, please make sure to use code nick 2 for 10% off Advanced GG. Highly recommend their product, and that's a very great way to literally try it out for free. Uh, there's only 50 codes, so if you're interested, I would recommend trying that out uh, as soon as possible. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Uh, one more thing, actually. On Friday the 30th, I'm going to be doing another Subathon event over on Twitch, so I'd love to see more of you guys around. This is going to be the last one that I do, so I'd highly appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have a Twitch Prime, you know, feel free to drop it. Also, like and subscribe. 80% of you guys or something like that aren't subbed. All right, whatever. Let's get right into it. So... Pretty much, I'm just going to walk you guys through the process, and then we'll talk about which mods you can actually do this with. But basically, this will allow you to get infinite ammo on any character. I'm using this on Techno because it's very easy to represent um, and to recreate, but I'll just show you guys, you know, it works for a lot of mods. I don't even know all the mods that it works for. I'm just going to talk about the ones that I know that it works for. So I'll just give you a quick example. Um, ignore my gear. My gear is completely scuffed. I put on random stuff just so that I could do this. So let's say that right now... I have no ammo mods on my gear, okay? Let me just show you every piece of gear. I have no ammo mods. Nothing that I'm using currently is going to give me ammo back, all right? So let's say that, you know, I really wanted to use toxic lead, but I just don't have room in my build right now to be able to put toxic lead in there. But I really want to use it because it's going to give me 40% ammo back, right? So all I'm going to do right here, uh, can you actually see all my mods? My camera might have been blocking it, so I'm going to move my camera. Very professional YouTuber here. I'm going to move my camera, and then I'll show you all the gear again. So I have no ammo mods here. Comment down below if you got mad that you couldn't see the mods because my camera's in the way and then you're yelling at me. I imagine there's a good few of you because I would get mad at that. Okay, so as you can see, no ammo mods, right? I really want to use toxic lead. I don't have room for it, whatever. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to put toxic lead on. All right, it's there. And then I'm going to replace it with what I just had. That's it. That's the whole thing, okay? And now I'm going to represent or show you guys that basically the game treats it as if toxic lead is still on. So we'll just load into... A random map what frontline has some mobs at the beginning uh hey kitty we'll load into a random map and i'll just show you guys that i'm still going to get ammo back so uh again i don't have anything giving me ammo back no trick up the sleeve no nothing i just did that and my gear is completely scuffed because i had to change a bunch of mods and etc just to be able to show you guys this so i'm going to go in here come on timer dude yeah 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 Okay, I'm gonna kill some guys. As you can see, wow, I get ammo back. That's crazy, why am I getting ammo back? I don't have the mod on my build. Insane, this changes everything. That's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, I got ammo back and I don't have the mod on my gear. As far as I'm aware, this works with a good amount of mods. I'll tell you guys all the mods that this works with in a second. It doesn't just work with toxic lead. This isn't a Technomancer only thing. Uh, one thing that I should mention, if you die, it, if you die, it'll like get rid of the bug or whatever. I'm pretty sure if you disconnect from the game, it'll get rid of it as well. And this can end up being kind of costly in terms of like iron, leather, etc. But it's something that you can do. Other mods that it works with. So for one, I know for sure that it works with Perpetual Mobile. This is what I found out what it works with in the first place. Pretty sure it only works with the ammo mods. I would imagine that there's some other mods that it works with too. You guys could do your own testing and just put on every single mod on a gun and take it off and see what sticks. I haven't done all that testing. I know that this works for the Devastator statue set. For some reason, if you put that three set on, that gives you the extra 100% firepower and then you take it off, you actually retain that set bonus. So this might work for a lot of things. I don't know what else it works for. Get to testing and you guys can see what's broken and then leave it down in the comments. 
but this is everything I know it works for. So it works with Perpetual Mobile. It works with Brain Eater and these stack. So you could just, here's just an example. I just boom Perpetual Mobile, boom Brain Eater. And then I go back to using uh, Killing Spree. And then as long as I don't die or whatever, I'm gonna have these on my gun forever. That's why this is so good. So if you're a firepower pyromancer or you're trying to get this ET15 pyromancer as a pyromancer, you absolutely love me right now. I've tried it with other damage mods. I haven't noticed it working with any of those, um, but it worked with the ammo mods. In terms of other ammo mods that it works for. So it's not gonna work uh, as far as I'm aware. I had a friend test this. I actually haven't tested this myself. I've only done it with Perpetual Mobile Toxic Blood and Brain Eater and Reforging Bullets. Uh, but a friend told me that it doesn't work with the class ammo ones, such as Trick Up the Sleeve or the Chrono Suit Pants for Trickster. Uh, I don't know 100% sure you could test it, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to work for those because I trust that friend. And also, I would imagine that these are coded a little bit differently because they're conditional with them being reliant on your round skill, whereas the other ones are just ammo in general. And then another one that it works for is Reforging Bullets, and it works for Vampiric Mag. Uh... That's pretty much all that I know that it works for. But if you're playing a Pyromancer, you absolutely love this because you can just put on Reforging Bullets, Perpetual Mobile, Brain Eater, and then you never have to worry about ammo again. If you wanted to go crazy, you could put on Vampiric Mag 2 and use an AR that has... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you put it on and then take it off. You can do this too with like a Bone Shrapnel. So on my Techno, if I wanted to, I could put on to Toxic Lead and Vampiric Mag, and Brain Eater, and Perpetual Mobile, and then literally never worry about ammo again. And then in those slots, I could just go for pure damage so that I wouldn't have to worry about it. Side note, one thing you can do with Emergency Stance, if you wanna get really cheesy, is you can proc Emergency Stance and then it will stay on your character. You can notice that it's on your character under your buff icon if you have the shield icon. Once it's procced, you could then take Emergency Stance off or literally just unequip that piece of gear and put on a different piece. And then you retain the Emergency Stance buff but you don't actually have that mod on. I imagine there's other things that work like this too. Uh, this is a pretty early stage of you know testing and seeing what works and stuff. Hopefully me getting this video out there uh, gets more people to test it and then ultimately this ends up getting fixed, but abuse it while it's there. Uh, I don't really care if people use bugs. It's a PVE game. You don't get a massive, massive advantage out of it. It's nothing crazy. You're not cheating. Um, I wouldn't worry about getting banned or whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you don't like bugs and you think it's lame, you don't have to use the bugs, you know. The, that's the that's the great part about the game is that you don't have to do it. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about it, so I figured that I would just make a video on it. Uh, it might work with Vein Ripper. I don't know, actually. There's probably a lot of other things that it works with. Uh, kind of hard to test because if you die, it like messes everything up. But I would just encourage you guys to test it and see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If the video helped you out, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe for other videos that aren't similar to this one, because usually I won't make a video like this. But yeah, the video is short, so if you like it and it helped you out, please make sure to drop a like, as it helps me a ton. Make sure to be there on Friday. I see you. I see you. You better be there on Friday. I would love a Twitch Prime. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.